Good evening. My name is Mary Maslowski. I'm the chairperson of the Historic District and Historical Commission. I'd like to call to order our meeting of Tuesday, August 28th, 2018 at 6 p.m. here in the small hearing room at 732 Main Street at Town Hall. We, uh, as required by law, the town is uh, notifying all that we are um, audio and video recording this meeting. If there's any person in the audience intending to also audio or video record the open session, you're required to inform the chair. So hearing none, we will assume no one is recording. Um, I'd like to start with a roll call. Uh, Jean Steiner. Neil Carroll. Bob Doan. Julie Aldridge. And I'd like to also formally welcome Julie Aldridge to the Historic Commission. She uh, started ha newly sworn in in her first meeting this evening. So welcome and thank you for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So we'll open um, first item on the agenda. We would like to reopen the um, public hearing for HH 2018-09. It is a certificate of appropriateness that's been received for 711 Main Street, uh, map 41, parcel D8 in the C-V zone in the Harwich Center Historic District. Uh, the app application proposes to demolish the circa 1970 gasoline station shed and construct a two-story mixed-use commercial structure that includes two dwelling units. Uh, the application is pursuant to Mass General Law Chapter 40C, Section 6, and the Code of the Town of Harwich, Chapter 131, Historic Preservation, Article 2. Uh, Ellie Basil, trustees at all, owner, and Samuel Patel, applicant. Um, for those in the audience, this is a continuation of an earlier um, public hearing. We thank you for the um, for the continuation. Um, at our last um, session, we had asked that uh, the applicant provide some revised plans. Um, so we're here this evening to take a look at the revised plans um, again under the certificate of appropriateness uh, as this building is proposed in the historic district. So if you'd introduce yourselves, please, for the record. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is uh, Howard Dickman. I'm a representative as they return to the petition. This is Sunil. Uh, Patel. This is Gabriel and Brother, Mary and Alea here. I guess they left the better half home this night. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, our Thanks, architect designer is here, and he'll be carrying the, the ball this evening. Um, we, we actually have, uh, after we submitted to you a number of days ago the, these plans, we have another alternative, which I sort of like, but maybe, maybe you won't. But in any event, go ahead. Without any further ado, we, we, appreciate, we appreciate you continuing this hearing and coming in tonight, sort of especially for this. Uh, good evening, uh, Madam Chair. For the record, my name is Hal Chuba. I'm a consulting engineer with offices at 112 State Road in, in Dartmouth, Massachusetts. If you recall, uh, last month we came here in front of you for this application to demolish the existing building and built two-story structure uh, at the lot. At the last meeting, we you had if, concerns. If you actually could put it up, if you could stand it on a chair or something, that'd be great. Uh, so. At the last meeting, I believe some the board members and some of the people in the audience also had some concerns. We, we uh, before the end of the meeting, I think we 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 came to an agreement or uh, uh, that we would revise the the plans, uh, the site layout, and the building, and we'll come back here with with the revised uh, uh, design. Uh, basically, s most of the concern had to do with the parking in front of the building. I think, you, you know, with being the lot being in the historic district, you didn't want to see a lot of the parking in the front. And the frontage also, on the, you didn't feel like there was enough frontage of the building on, on the street. So what we did, we increased the frontage to 64 feet, and we, we eliminated one row of parking. Uh, we, we, we talked about this. Uh, concept last last week. I think also, uh, Ms. Stainer, you had a concern about the parking ad ad adjacent to another parking. So we increased the the buffer uh, in between. So this is this is the access driveway to, to the property. We have more landscape on this side. We've eliminated all the parking on this side, and we shifted it to the rear of the building. So once you're on 
on Main Street, you only see one row parking versus two. We also increased the the, um, the frontage on the street, so you'll see more frontage, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Doan, you had mm -hmm. that concern. And also one of the concerns was the building looked kind of boxy, that you wanted some kind of uh, intendation to, to the design. So I think this is the old uh, package or whatever was submitted even after that, Mr. Uh, Cohen had had some ideas driving around town and, 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 this, and so we have two things for your, your proposal this evening. This this um, was not in, put in, in your packet, you, but yeah. this this has the main box here on Main Street with the door up here. It mm -hmm. might provide for a better flow of interior traffic in terms of controlling them with this door as well as the front door which will be over here and I personally think that the slope of the pitch of the roof here is much more pleasing than that slope but you know my wife looked at that yeah, and this, she said this one, yeah. yeah well my wife looked at it and says it looks like an old barn so maybe she's maybe she's got the right idea but in any event this is a little more conventional and um, I, I, anyway so whatever you whatever you think so if I could my, if I ahead. could ask a question the side ele elevation is what you would see from the parking lot. That's what you see from okay. the parking lot. This is this is the main street, main street. but this mm -hmm. is what you see when you're driving on Main Street. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Going westbound. And that's facing the parking. Mm -hmm. and, and for whatever it's worth, I was just able to pick the brain of the building inspector, and he tells me that we can have a. This building is 30 feet high to this point. The cupola, though, is, is an exception for four feet high and four feet wide. So I think we'll be able to hopefully put something up there that will be in some sort of scale that will finish it off a little at the top. Yeah, on, on that scale, four feet yeah, for that size building might be a little small, isn't it? Uh, actually, this is this is a four by four is it? of the cupola. I think it's, it's... And I think that the planning board, it's a special permit from the planning right. board, and I think that we've got some influence there. Right. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I mean. No, but I mean, I would hope I would that like, go along with yeah. something like that. And if, if it was a little bigger, I, that was, pleasing. Yeah, exactly. I would I'd like to be aesthetic pleasing. Yeah. And if it requires a variance, we would certainly right. probably support it. You would look send a recommendation. You would look had a cupola that just was, right. even after we got it up there, we got the building built, we put up a little thing like this. Oh, and I've, I've seen that. It, it looks yeah, exactly. terrible. It has you to might have as well it. not have it. Exactly. So from the, an administrative perspective, we do not have copies of these plans. Right. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, like I, this is uh, no, like this the drive we don't we, have. We, we did it. That that's like an option. You have, you We're have not saying we have four now. You have four plans, right? How many plans do you have this? Uh, not not the. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't. I mean, well, we certainly can provide all the copies. Yeah. It just kind of we we talked about design ideas and we yeah. thought maybe sure. we just wanted to show you that we just developed more than one yeah. option. So that's how we came with the came up with, with the second one and uh, it's it's basically uh, don't say the word <laughs> no 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 I mean, I'm saying this is oh. this is a, a personal preference right. whether you like this yeah. design or um, they're both uh, right. you know is is the my, the roof line on the left side there my left yeah this does that reach is it higher than the roof line of no that no that's that's right there you don't see it because of the cupola it's behind the cupola yeah that's the same so the peaks the same at the same line. height as the it's the same the same height. Height. Oh, okay yeah. this is yeah. how it looked like yeah i know that's how it looked in the yes. front but yeah. it looked like yeah. when you kind of come out that side right. Right. it looks <laughs> higher <laughs> than the we, other it's 30 feet we wouldn't want to be in height we're rich boards to coincide yeah so just a quick question Regardless of the exterior design, does the interior floor plan stay the same as as we've seen it in here? Not that we have any purview no, uh, over that, I but it's just an interest we, we question. Have, we have not really come to grips okay. with a complete floor plan. Mm -hmm. But we will revise the floor layout to to work with the, what, what the you see as far as elevation. I like the main street dormers and the fact that you're going to see those as you walk down the street I th the, on the second floor so i think that's mm -hmm. that's nice and, and that will be part of the two apartments up there right. which mm -hmm. gives them a view to the street which i think is a nice 
in town yeah, so feature. Howard like drove around and he saw like the new buildings and historic mm -hmm. areas. Mm -hmm. and how they are they put the you know some mm -hmm. features like those. That's why we <laughs> kind of laid to put in the. <laughs> then he the, drove to my office. <laughs> yeah, he went all the way to Dartmouth to get all this done. So, I have a question for the difference between this one and this. Obviously, it looks like you shifted the door to make the to make the different peak. Um, so that your doors are closer together, as I'm, I'm, yes. I'm guessing. And it also um, fits in with the, you know, right underneath the cupola sure. and right underneath yep. the, uh, the, the, the. I triangle. mean, personally, I, I tend to think that is a nicer choice yes. than this yeah. for the side, from the side view. Exactly. Um, the, the front is the same, though, right? Yeah. The front is exactly the same. So it's just the side. It's really the side. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, the the front on this one though has. That's the old, old, oh, old. This is the old one. Okay, yeah, I see what you're sorry. saying. Yeah. All right, no. Okay. That was the original. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was the original yeah. set that was in the packet. So, yeah. um, are there any? Um, any just w quick question for me, just because you brought up planning. Um, are there any waivers? Does this does this plan require any waivers from from? Planning board that you know. Parking under control. Yes. Uh, setbacks, but I think his, uh, in, in the historic district, I think we go the way the last time we had a meeting with the planning board. I think they want by they go by the average uh, front existing frontage of the street. So basically, we don't meet the in front of setbacks. Of the, the height we're fine with the height. So it's just the frontage. Just the frontage because we're closer to the sidewalk. But again. Once, you know, we didn't get into a lot of the specifics with the sites mm -hmm. because we wanted to, this sure. is our first stop and, mm -hmm. you know, if we can't make it through here, I guess the, the, the project is dead. Basically. Well, I That's asked the question I, only because um, I think it's helpful for us that if we're in favor of, of something that would require sure. a waiver, yeah. you know, certainly we can communicate that I think um, back to the planning board. I'm not sure, the, the building inspector might know if I need a relief on the setback. I don't need the, the setback in that in the cv district but because this is in the historical district i think they i was told that the setback we we can go out there and measure the average setback and try to kind of match what's there but so I'm i know not that sure if i need the, the town planner will i think will be able if you she's, correct me right gonna have to Way in she'll look. Line. Yeah, she'll look at oh, it when it goes to the planning oh, board. So, so the, what I'm saying, we might need a relief on this setback, but that's again. Well, and if from you're in favor of this, from I, historic sure. districts' point yeah. of view, I just want to know sure. if there are any of those possibilities so that right. we can weigh in at this meeting and actually right. make that recommendation. Uh, so what is the setback from this main street to the building? No, to, I think it's 20 20 twenty-five feet. On this, you got twenty-five feet here. Yeah, I'm not. I'm how more than the setback. Oh, so how many feet are you? I'm probably five, uh, ten feet from the street. So. Ten feet from the street. Now you want it along the street, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Okay. Well, so so and then, that's my point. That's okay. that's so just right. my point. So they'll, for, they'll help right. us get that. But let me ask you this: If in fact the planning board says forget it, have we got enough room in the back? What are we going to do? I don't think they're going to. No, yeah. I think the last meeting with they, the planning they board, that. they said that yeah. we go by because right. we're in the historic district. They override the exactly. the zoning. So. That's what we need. If we need the relief, we go to the zoning board and we say, because we're in a historic district, we need to get the building close to the street and then we'll get the relief. Okay. And so we'll I, just I remember them saying it, it was fine. You can go like closer to where right. all the mm -hmm. siding like, right. buildings are. So we'll just make sure that we communicate that if that's... Right. If, 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 we'll, we'll let you know. If you, get an approval, if you get an approval then, then um, from us this evening, then we will um, certainly pipe in on probably both the... I'll meet with Charlie. Cupola, I'm thinking. I'll and the, oh, and the streetscape, because that really affects exactly. the streetscape. Exactly, it does escape. affect the streetscape. Yeah. So, um, <coughs> are there any um, additional particular questions from board members? Yes. Um, from an artistic standpoint, I'm not sure if it matters, but um, one of the things I like are more windows on the street side or bigger windows. It seems like we're kind of getting to a point where sometimes we don't put that big window and yet it's a commercial establishment and you kind of want to see the activity in the store. I mean, that's my impression. And all the other stores on that street have pretty big windows. So would you like to see two windows of a smaller size than this one or two, two windows here and two windows over here? 
Is that what you're I saying? I was thinking more of four window. Four windows? Yeah. Why? I mean, that's just, I wish other people, I wish Bob was here because. Well, he my, give, give my only other, um, where they haven't done their floor plan right. yet, you know, yeah. they've also got shelf space. I'm sure right. that they're not going right. to put shelves up against a window that's either. Right. So, yeah. um, could be a window box of sort, right? You'd like to see more windows if you try. Oh, I don't no, think the so idea is just bigger. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's only because of everything else, yeah. all the other retail businesses are. And see, that doesn't I'm bother me because it's such I'm a big window. It. It's yeah. a big door. Yeah, I'm not married to it. But yeah. Well, just, when you do think of, you know, the older buildings, they do have, the commercial ones had the big plate glass. Right, right. Yeah. Like I, I hadn't thought about street. that, yeah. or but but oh. more like ruggies even, yeah. or yeah. they you know so you do look in and you see what's what's going on there. Huh? I hadn't thought of that. I, I think it, it looks nice, mm. but I could see I could see where you're coming from. The, well, the front door is gorgeous. I like that. It really that looks nice. nice. If you were to when when you and I'm, again I know you haven't worked out the inside, but. If, if you were to do something like Bob just suggested, could you have the shelves, have that be like walkway space inside the store without giving up shelf space? Would your shelves go like perpendicular to it so that if you were walking on the street and you looked in, you'd see people shopping for items and things? Well, I, Gordon, are, are you gonna have tables and stuff for people to we sit may, down and snack? We may have some back here some little sandwiches and stuff like that oh, okay. so took an, an area to eat right mm -hmm. okay yeah. we haven't we haven't just haven't come to all those groups right. but I will tell you this um, one of the things that would help us and I may have just said this I can't remember but having the door here and the door here then in this corner you would have maybe a counter to perhaps perhaps service both yeah, customers both, going both, both, both places. Yeah, that's so what I assumed. It wouldn't be, door. otherwise we would have yeah. been with the door here, and we would have had a completely independent mm -hmm. over mm -hmm. So it helps us that way, in terms of controlling flow right. into, in and out of, yeah. in and out of the store. Yeah, I, I'm not that yeah. wild about it. I mean, I'm okay with those windows. Mm -hmm. I don't want to force it. You know, well, if, it worked out, we, we, if it worked out, it'd be fine on your interior plan, but I don't, I, I'm, much, I'm much more pleased with this. Yeah. Yeah, it I think nice. I do like this a lot better than, than the last iteration. So were there going to be um, posts on the overhang? How is that going to uh, work? It's not, it's not needed, but we can add it for aesthetic. I think it might, you know, because it's an overhang part of the roof structure. Yeah. Uh, structurally, we don't need it, but we can, right. if we can. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know either. I don't know either. yeah. And what about in the front? Um, yeah, on both the side, is there like <clears throat> decking? I'm not sure, not decking, but like a walkway, or how do you, how yeah, will you yeah. handle that? I think there is. Um, it's sidewalks all around with both, yeah, yeah. five feet. Okay. There's a five foot overhang all around, and this mm -hmm. is wider. We talked about this, maybe mm -hmm. these places for benches and the Right, something. and maybe some so plants, some yeah. potted yeah. plants. Oh, yeah, this is yeah. all going to be landscape we haven't, you know. Mm -hmm. And what would you use for the sidewalk material? Would you do brick or would you slate or have you uh, gotten that we, far in your thinking yet? I mean, uh, uh, probably what this would you like be, to see? Yeah, I'm not you, sure. What do you like? Do we have brick in the sidewalk there? I'm trying to remember. I, no, I don't think so. Tired, so. No. Probably not yeah. asphalt. <laughs> no, concrete. No, we, we call for concrete, but yeah. we concrete sidewalks. But I mean, uh, we can do boring so that, yeah, color. We yeah, can do that. Yeah, yeah. that could be that, a little I more mean, interesting. Absolutely. This could be in a decision that's easy. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. so what does that mean, story and color? It's it looks kind of like slate, like, you know, yeah. Stamp concrete. Stamp yeah, yeah, they yeah. stamp yeah. They stamp it so it looks like brick. Kind of brick and they use a coloring on it. It's like the crosswalks they build that look like brick crosswalks, mm -hmm. but they're not. We can fake it then, huh? <laughs> Think it until you make it. Well, right. it doesn't have the, the foibles of the brick, right. Wood, yeah, right, which right. turns and people mm -hmm. turn oh, their so ankles it's on it. It's more of a flight. Yeah. 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 All right. I think um, it looks nice. Any other questions from this board relative to? Yeah. I, may I just Please. ask a procedural question? Sure. I mean, today you're really looking to proceed with this plan, yes. but. I think there's a lot more detail we have to see. Like, for instance, I'm very interested on the 
other side that you'll see when you respond on it, what that wall is going to look like. Mm -hmm. um, so we haven't seen that yet. And But I know you want to get the basic structure approved right. first. Uh, one step at a time. I think what we want to do uh, once, and it should be part of your decision too, that we should submit final plans to right. you yes. in case there's any revisions right. or whatever, we can come back here. But right. we're just, you know, but at least, at so, least. so that you understand when we make a decision the plans are final so if you need changes to them you're going to have to come back okay. to us I understand so for any for any revisions <coughs> so um, to Bob's point in a anything that can be seen from a public road which would include parallel street which is behind it okay. um, so that Back elevation is really something that we should see, and, aside, and the the other side elevation is okay. something that we need to see before. Uh, okay. But you're, but what I guess we're looking for tonight is an approval of what we have so far, and, and we'll, we'll make the rest of it sort of pretty much in keeping with that. We may have a shed dormer on the other side coming out toward Ruggies. We might have another more doghouse dormers, um, and, and the back uh, will have to be. I'm, I'm not sure. It'll have a. It'll have a window or <coughs> spot perhaps an event and so forth but and the, the wrap around go for but before we get our final approval we need to see yeah that's we can't, what yeah. Saying. Okay. right we're so saying no, i'm just saying what what is right. that's what i was so, asking is okay we can't give formal approval tonight no, because no. we haven't seen all the details but, but i can sense you like we the can. way we're going okay. yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. and so but then we're going to maybe say something else so about when's the about. planning when's your planning board meeting we don't oh have we them. haven't filed yet you haven't filed yet okay. I, I think what we can do i can get you the rest of the elevations yep. for your next meeting okay. and then you can vote on it i, Perfect. I don't need i mean you, how would you do i don't need to be here right and so let me just ask you bob you're going to sort of talk about something else other details that you were interested in or just the, just the other sides it, uh, the thing, I mean, I think, you know, I want to think about the um, the overhang a little yeah. bit. I think it's fine. Yeah. Um, but some of the uh, maybe finer detail, I think once you have a, uh, another elevation, maybe I can see that. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I, I think you've selected your colors already, right? Well, I don't know. I don't yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There was a color yeah. patch in yeah. here, right? Yeah. 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 And the shingles and, and, and so forth. We'll get to talk about those, right? Body color Malbec peach oil. Yeah. I, I think what we can do. Uh, uh, I, used to, I don't want to come back I here. Well, I, I don't want to come back here again and, and say, well, wait a minute, you didn't tell us this. Right. Right. So no, no, no. We need a checklist. Of right. 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 But what I'm thinking, we can come once for your next meeting. So we meet the third Wednesday of every month. Okay, third Wednesday. Of so the third so Wednesday in September. So it's just coming up soon. That's yeah, no problem. Weeks, I can uh, I can get you the rest of the elevations. And what I could do, I can look at the floor layout, and then I can kind of have a floor layout. So mm -hmm. you won't be surprised. So the elevations won't change. Right. And if we need to, maybe I'll look into getting bigger windows. Maybe. See what it looks maybe, like. Yeah. You know, we can submit that. Perfect. For the next meeting, and then you can vote on it. At least. Okay. The so, um, so. So just to, just to be clear, we're going with this. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. But yeah. they need to see the rest. But of we the didn't. Yeah. Yeah. They're not going with the other. other no. 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 This, this I do like much better. The consensus from right. from all four of us. Mm -hmm. I know it is mm -hmm. for me. It is Gene. Mm -hmm. yep. Gail. So um, so all four of us again, again just for clarification for those watching, um, the four of us were the. Um, voting members. We're the voting members mm -hmm. for for this actual certificate of appropriateness, so um, I I do I do like that better than the one here. So um, I would request that you get us that plan mm -hmm. um, in the number of copies that they need for the office, um, and in addition to that, the elevations. If you if you are able to expand those windows or put some kind of a post detail in front mm -hmm. um, for consideration I that I would say include that as an option in in the next set of plans that you get to us and I just want to uh, for the record I just need um, acquiescence from the applicant that you're agreeing to continue to to our next regular meeting which is a third Wednesday we acquiesce. okay so it is it will be the third Wednesday again no earlier than 6 p.m. Um, it'll either be in this hearing room or in the right. larger conference room just sure. one other question. Where is the entrance for the apartments? Oh, that's what I need. It's going to be in the back. Okay. On, I just, on 
the side and the back because we need two means of egress. Yeah. You know, right. That's, so we need, right. and they have to be remote. We can't have them in the same place. So that's why I need to look at the floor layout right. and sure. kind of work out the floor layout sense. and then finalize the allocations. Right. But if you look at the first submission I gave you, I think we mm -hmm. had some kind of columns. That's what I was trying to I see. Mean, you, right. you have uh, these. Yeah. If yeah. this you is okay or you want something deck. round, I mean, that's not, uh, it, because I can, I can, I think it might look nice, especially at the corners, if, because it will define yeah, the corner right. of the buildings, to have some, yeah. some columns. Mm -hmm. If this is okay, what you see there, it'll be the same yeah, kind of that detail, looks good, yeah. details. Okay, yeah. okay. So that's good, I got it. I mean, possibly bigger windows and some columns and do the, the two elevations. But we have to look at the floor layout for the first and the second floor and locate the, uh, the entrances and egress doors, you know, yeah. for the apartments too. And I like the detail on the columns you put in too. That was okay. good. We'll use the same, the, yeah. I think that's okay. Good. Now, one thing that, um, that Gene Steiner just pointed out, the sign is also subject to the, to the um, certificate of appropriateness. So um, any comments about the sign as we see it, the last one we reviewed, we had some concerns that we wanted it to look more historic like um i don't know that it's what is the current uh, sign that's that, that one this the one? most updated one we have to and put up to put a post and yeah. the, and the materials are they going to be wood or are they going to be okay does it have it, to be wood don't they? Mm -hmm. and where will the post where's it going to go where's the sign going to go uh the sign i believe you oh, right yeah. Yeah. Okay. Does, I've wondered if it made any sense to do a hanging one to repeat what you see at Ruggie's and the pizza place and, and the tile. You know how they have them hanging out? I don't know. I'm, they have that hanging give, side view signs. Right. So I wondered if that would give from, you enough visibility. I think it might. It's, it's kind of consistent. It might be just but something to think about. Like yeah. But like they have it hanging like on the building. Yeah. And it will be really small, com like you know, compared to them, like this being building being so big that it, the sign, like I, I don't think you would be able to see it that clearly. I wonder if it could be yeah. scaled. Oh. Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. I mean, is this going to be your entire signage? Are you going to do anything on the building itself? Uh, because any window door sign, door any um, any door signage, any window sign would come before. If we do, we well, have to come, come back. back. Yeah. 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 So just putting that out there so yeah. they're aware. No, of I agree. It's just, you know, once we're through with the building design, we can go. We're still designing the building, right? right? Yeah. But we're still you know, the design stage. We have to go through a site plan review. Right, and, uh, exactly. Right. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Boards, we have so many boards we have to go through. So uh, <laughs> at least we know we're heading in the right direction, you know, that's... Um, yep. Yeah, I, you know, I definitely like that version, mm -hmm. so... Um, Looks good. So if uh, you folks can get us revised plans, mm -hmm. get us the other elevations, um, any alternates that, you know, you propose as far as windows or, windows. or posts or whatever, Silence, yeah. um, if you can get those to, um, to the, you know, the Amy at, at the building window um, before our next meeting, Absolutely. You know, the week before is, okay. is well, helpful yeah. so that we, yeah. Yeah. people can have a chance to look at them and, and go out. Um, and then um, with your agreement, we can, uh, are we still, you have, we still have some questions? We're into the windows. Okay. <laughs> just on this first, I don't know which plan this was, yeah. but just looking at these windows and the position, I think that they look bigger because they are lower, you know, mm -hmm. um, you know what yeah. I mean, further down. They, they're not really bigger because there's still no. three three across, but they look taller, right? Mm. Don't they? Well, there's more of them. And yeah, there's well, a there's a lot more of them. That's, I think that's window, what I was... But the window too, itself... But yeah, but the, I, these windows, I kind of like because the lights are right I, over I them. Think so yeah. he, if you put something at the bottom, if you see, it's the, the same glass. position, yeah. but there's something at the bottom that just makes it seem very... It makes it look it's just, it's just, it's So maybe... I actually... I mean, I, I like they, these I windows, like these windows. But you could do put something window boxes with these. I don't know that that's a wooden thing. I think that's a, think that's a, think that's a detail. panel. I don't know oh, if that's a window, window on the it's, bottom, it's right? right. Oh, oh, right. It's, no, it's, it's a detail. It's, it's, it's a detail, detail that you like. But I'm just saying the way the window, 
is set in, it appears. It appears bigger. bigger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and with the panel on the bottom, that you like that, that helps it. Well, yeah. It, and then the lights at the top, which are. Yeah, more see, they're separate the there, window. and this, they're kind of part of the window. You'd it like looks that. like it's one unit, actually. Which would you rather have? This one. I don't. So, that, well, can you put those windows? Yeah, yeah. We, so, we've taken the details, the yeah. windows from, and we put them yeah. on this. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we were trying to match because. On you the have the six floor, over six, yeah. Oh, you have really, the Cape yeah, Cod old different. window look. This you have the six over six this above. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. How it's. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I, I like that I'm one. I'm a six over six could person. Think so. of the window boxes underneath them, possibly. We can do window boxes. But so you what, could, could, could you on that you too? With those, but, well, I don't well know. you could do planters around yeah, it, I guess. Could, yeah. Too low. Yeah. Yeah, there's a panel. Uh, we'll, we'll see what it looks yeah. like. I mean, we can yeah. place the, the 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 panels and see what it looks mm -hmm. like. Well, I know. think you've you've heard enough comments right. that you can. <laughs> you know, we could do this forever. Right. right. No, I, I understand, <laughs> but uh, no, I, I think I understand what the. Yeah. We're just the fine tuning right the now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so the chair at this point would, um, with the applicant's um, prior approval, uh, will. Entertain a motion to continue this public hearing to our next regular meeting on um, s the third Wednesday in September, which is nineteenth. Is that 19th? probably right? I'm going to double check. Yeah. Yes, the nineteenth of September um, at six p.m. here at Town Hall. As I said, not we will likely be in the other hearing room, um, and if before that meeting the applicant can. Um, a week before we'll get us the plans. So, do I hear a motion on the floor? I so move. Is there a second? Second. So, motion's made and seconded to continue this public hearing um, to Wednesday, September 19th at 6 p.m. Um, here at Town Hall. Um, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. None in opposition. The motion carries. We will see you. On the 19th of September. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you. you very much for coming in. So I am going to request that we take our next item slightly out of order and um, our building inspector has joined us. <laughs> so I'd ask Ray, please come forward. <laughs> I know Bob, um, Bob Bradley was, is not here, and he was anxious. Um, I think part of um, part of the question that I think Ray came up at our last meeting, we had our Forest Street discussion at the last meeting with um, the demolition. How does, in uh, the question came up as to how you folks do your inspections. Are you, do you check on things regularly? Does it? how would because we'd like to avoid that having happened again you know I know what happens every once in a while somebody takes a demolition ball and and goes exceeds the scope of what they what they had um, so we'd just like to avoid that from happening in the future is there is there a way we can um, maybe put a, a list up for you know the the ones that are historic demolition permits I don't know how you folks we can well, we can keep an extra eye on them. Okay. Um, what happens is, um, in a normal situation, the builder or who's ever taken the permit could be the homeowner or mm -hmm. whoever has taken the permit calls for the inspections. They call us to to do an inspection. We're required to do at least five inspections on the job okay. for various things. One of the, the first inspection is foundation, mm -hmm. and that's the first thing that we do. The second, uh, uh, usually the second, but sometimes not, mm -hmm. the second foundation, is, uh, second inspection is the structure. Okay. And we do that inspection after it's all framed and the rough electric, rough plumbing is installed in the building, okay? And it's up to the owner to, uh, or whoever took the permit, to provide access to us to the building and to take the initiative to call us mm -hmm. to schedule that inspection and and we and we'll sign it off. Um, we sometimes do interim inspections depending upon 
the complexity of the building, if we suspect some uh, something needs uh, special attention, mm -hmm. we can do that. So when it's in a historic district, uh, and we don't always do this, but I think we can try to make a practice of it, we'll mm -hmm. note it on the building card okay. that, that it's had a historic review. And we normally have those those plans, they're mm -hmm. normally part of the building permit. Right. And, but we can't always guarantee that they're on site. They're required to be on site, but that doesn't always happen. Uh, and we don't usually take the plans with us. This one kind of, I'm not sure what happened with this one. It kind of... It seems to me, and just my two cents worth, it seems to me that when there was more, to, when there was more work to be done than taking down the, the second floor and demoing the the modern addition which I think was clear in his application to us I suspect that he should have had the obligation to call you folks to come out and say Absolutely. you know am I still within my my demo permit because you issued the demo permit correct based on based on the decision so to me he should have called for an inspection and then come back in for for another hearing before yes. That's, that's, he knocked that's, everything down. Well, and he's right. a builder. He should know that. No, he should Don't know disagree. that. And he came, Don't disagree and with he you. Came in and told, he, he came in and told me that he did make that mistake and that he understood that he should have done that, and he didn't do it. Right. Okay? And, uh, and that's, that's typical, not typical that that happens all the time, but most builders would call and... Uh, you know, if they ran into a change in the plans mm -hmm. or something changed in the plans, they would call and at least talk to us about it before right. they went ahead and did something, mm -hmm. okay? So that didn't happen in this case. And uh, what we're doing now, because the demolition permits are getting uh, more complicated, let me put it that way, uh, the, w w we're starting to issue some of them separately. So in other words, you would have to do the demolition before we let you go ahead. And get the we'll, building permit. And get the building permit. Understood. Or we'll issue separate things. If you suspect something and you request that mm -hmm. as part of your thing, I'm happy to do that. Okay. That's okay. Good. That's good. And, and, it, and a, lot of, a lot of times the assessing department asks us to do that because they want to know when the building, when the demolition was complete because it changes the tax percent, sure. the, you know, calculation on the building. Right. So we, a lot of times, will make sure that we issue it separately or at least note on the CAD that you have to call for a demolition inspection, a final demolition inspection, so we can fix the date that the demolition was done. Mm -hmm. So little things like that we can help out and try to, try to work with you on that. To me, that sounds great, just so that, yeah. so good. that they're separate. And then they've they they know they still have to come back to get their their building permit. Right. Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously it's going to happen from time to time because it is people push the envelope, and he's not the first, and unfortunately he won't be the last. Um, you know, it, just a a unique situation from my perspective, being that he was before the zoning board of appeals, and the zoning board of appeals had issued a. a variance based on or issued the special permit for the upstairs based on the existing house being there so mm -hmm. the existing house isn't there anymore so I'm not you know I'm not sure uh, next steps there as well but um, well, I, I think he's scheduled to go back to the zoning board of appeals yes. they want him back for a rehearing on, on the project um, so we'll have to wait to hear from all him. right um, so it's thank you that here, that right? makes a lot more sense to me in my mind as to how the inspections happen because um, Mr. Bradley had asked at our last meeting and simply don't know. So, right. you know, thank you for, for coming yeah, out we, and explaining we, that to us. We can do as many inspections as we choose, it's, it's, but we have a minimum number that we have to yeah. do, <laughs> and that minimum is five. Okay. And unfortunately, uh, most, pro not unfortunately, but uh, most projects go with five or six inspections. Mm -hmm. But there is sort of a lag between the foundation and when we actually look at the structure. Mm -hmm. so, and because it's, just, it's post framing and everything else. Right. So it makes sense. We don't we'd have to do an interim inspection sure, right. in between that, which we don't normally do. Understood. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? 
No, just, but I think that's a good process step to be able to tell people that this is how it's going to work. Mm -hmm. If you have are in a historic district or have a house that's over, over 100, 100 years old, you know. And when, we should point that out, if it, particularly if it's a partial demolition, right. that when they come in and we approve a partial demolition, we should say that, that there will be a building inspection. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. Condition a building inspection so on that yeah. on your approval. Okay, okay. that's a great idea. Yeah. And as, lo as long as that's amenable to you, then yeah, then and we'll I think put it right on with, the card. That'll work yeah. with us. We'll right. copy it right on the card, and great. then when we go out to look at the building. We, we always have the card because mm -hmm. that, that's what they want us to sign. Right. You know? right. We don't right. always right. have the plans <laughs> of what they're supposed to do. But, and so when we see it on the card, then that's a flag Perfect. to us. That's great. That's but thank you very much. If, if in driving around one of us happened to see something that we don't think looks to match what we have, then we could call you. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. We can always call the the and leave a message because right. I think that's I think I actually spoke to Charlene first and then mm -hmm. um, I think Shayla um, when because I when I, I drove by and it was leveled right yeah <laughs> so where is it <laughs> so it was gone yeah. it was gone and there was framing back up again so I think he had started to to build so um, yes for for this board's knowledge, I'm sure Ray knows. I I had specifically called and asked because I I didn't think it was a full building. Well, I think that's what triggered it. Actually. Yeah. 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 So, um, thank you very much for coming tonight. Right. I appreciate it. Good. Well, nice to meet you all in person. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hopefully, we'll see you. We'll we'll see you other days with happier. Okay. <laughs> happy to happy to do it. Whatever you need. Thanks, Ray. Appreciate All right. It. You're welcome. Thank you. Have, Have a good, good night. night. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. Bye. So the, the um, taking the next matter under new business was a review of a letter on Forest Street. So I had um, started to draft just a, a quick little letter, and I'll read it. You guys, let me know what you think. If um, if it you want more or less. Um, so it's just addressed to, uh, I propose to address it to the Zoning Board of Appeals. Dear members, please be advised that the demolition of the original uh, main structure at Forest Street exceeded the scope of the demolition per permit which issued to the applicant under the town's um, demolition delay bylaw. As a result, uh, HDHC required the applicant to appear at its meeting on August 15th with a new application which more accurately identified the demolition at the premises. Unfortunately, it appears that the entire structure, including the original home, which was over 100 years of age, was demolished and is lost to the town. For your information, HDAC did grant um, or did grant the issuance of a demolition permit under the town's demolition delay bylaw only to the extent that such demolition had previously occurred. Um, further, it is HDHC's understanding that the applicant must appear before the Zoning Board of Appeals again um, as well. The HDHC urges uh, the Zoning Board of Appeals to require the applicant to honor the original terms of the special permit as best as can be expected. So do we need something else or we're okay with that? All right. Then um, I will ask uh, Amy to type that up for us um, in basically the form that we just read. Yep. <laughs> no, I might tweak it, um, tweak language in one, one or two places, but uh, generally it will have that feel to it, um, and I will sign it on the board's behalf, um, and we'll get that over to um, the ZBA so that they will have it in time for their hearing. Um, Anything else on that? No? no? Okay. Um, the next matter I just wanted to bring up, um, we have, there are some outstanding CPC funds with, um, it was supposed to be round two of the historic list. Mm -hmm. So we had the list, we paid for the list portion of it, there are now some funds, and I'm not sure what the number is, but they've been outstanding for a while at this point, and um, I need to go um, sit on the other side of the table at CPC um, here in September and give them both a written and a, an oral um, presentation of 
what we've done with that money and we haven't done anything with that money yet um, I think the original plan was to try and do some further research on clusters um, I think we had personally speaking I think we had bigger issues with um, some of the the dates of some of the items that were on the list so um, I'm not sure that we are we don't have anything prepared to go forward to hire somebody we would need to put a put a proposal together to hire somebody to start spending that money that certainly has um, fallen by the wayside with you know um, on the no, staff side I'm at this point. I'm confused that are there were there two different buckets yes. of money and one very early on even before I think I got on the, the board one that did some that basic stuff pretty much that original that original bucket of money that went way way back right. plus some others is what paid for the the four volume set that you saw that we have oh. that paid for the the historic list as it exists didn't oh, include deed okay. research didn't include included that narrative that okay. um, so I thought that was, that was done the second bucket. that was the first part there was a proposal with some extra money to do um, further research into clusters but again we're at, we're at a point in the CPC has the authority to cull it back at right. any time right. so that may be before us mm -hmm. so if we go forward on something else we may actually need to reapply um, to get money um, but I wanted to talk to you before um, I go in September to see what the what the board's feeling is on um, on the money again it's not something that it's something that we will need to request some assistance from staff in order to put together uh, a request for proposals and um, and to seek um, and then I remember I brought up that I thought we should spend it next on just having somebody go through every single house and check the building inspectors records by date mm -hmm. and, and highlight which ones are don't match up or mm -hmm. our expectation yep. and do the research okay. on that. I mean, I don't know how many hours that would be. And yep. It sounds more like desk work than anything else. It, it does. No, it does. And, it does. You know, so it might be just a clerk type position to and do it, that. Right. It might not be something that, that would doesn't require necessarily a, right. a person that has right. um, pure expertise. I don't know. Maybe needs some, but not just someone who knows that research. Yeah, right. and I, because th I think that was the biggest issue with what we've seen over the last couple of years yeah. is some of the dates, right. people were coming for things that obviously right. weren't right. historic. I mean, so, you still have that issue with the garage is clearly mm -hmm, not the original. Mm -hmm. This right. won't solve that problem. problem. It won't. I don't yeah, think so. So we still have that, and I don't know if there's anything to do with that. Well, I think you could do the same thing. I think you could see if there are outbuildings on the on the right. the same person that's reviewing the house mm -hmm. to see if the house matches could say there are outbuildings that you know were clearly built in the 40s or the but they'd have to physically go look at it probably. they probably would have to physically go look at it or a building card might say it like a building jacket might say a building permit was pulled in 1960 right. for right. you know for a barn or whatever um so it it might be there it might not mm -hmm. um is is the consensus from the board that that's what we'd like to see to kind of continue to refine the 100 year list as it exists i think that would be more helpful really. well it would certainly I mean, the money would go for it right it certainly um, maybe eliminate some of the problems we run into which mm -hmm. doesn't look good right to the town right us, exactly which i'd like to avoid that well and i think too you know there is there may be a component of deed research that that goes along with that because some of that is what we had to do to figure out whether, mm -hmm. you know, whether there was a house there or not. I know in particular 19th Schoolhouse, we had a deed and a mortgage deed. Mm -hmm. You know, there was another um, house that had a deed and a mortgage. It was a plan of land, and then it was the plan of land with buildings right. there on that was, you know, um, with a mortgage. So um, if that is, if the consensus is that that's what we'd like to do, I will um, try and speak to staff this week and see if um, see what it would take for us to to put together a a proposal to put that work out um, under our procurement rules. It may just be quotes. Yeah, 
we're talking 5,000, 20,000? I think it's more than that. I, and I don't have the number off the top of my head. But was that money originally, I know it's historic funds, but is that, was that money originally handed over to do a specific thing? In other words, to, it's, it's to, was. to yeah. increase to it. Oh, but, but see, we've already spent money on that. So, so I, I believe the that job done, and now what is... So this was a second proposal, and I believe the proposal was to do further research into clusters where there were three or more... Okay, so in the, there specific. were three or more homes in, a, in an area. I think I do think it was that specific. Mm -hmm. um, but I wanted to get a sense from us first right. because the money, CPC may vote to actually take the money back. Sure. Um, and if they do, they do. We just put in another application to, to get some money back to do what, um, what would, you know, like to see going forward. Um, the, we have to give a, um, a report in September the um, applications are due October 1st. So I think once we talk to them, we'll know what the pleasure is. And then maybe it's a next year application to, you know, if they decide to take the money back, then maybe it's, hopefully they won't. <laughs> but if they do, then maybe it's a next year application to try and get some, some of that money back. And we might be able to kind of, to your point, come up with what we think would be a number, like how many hours you think it's gonna take to look at you know, do some minor deed research or look at some building cards and figure out um, kind of a number, uh, an amount of hours per property. Haven't we also talked about the fact that we were going to support West uh, Harwich? Well, I, I was going to bring that up because yeah. mm -hmm. if, if that money that's sitting there has been already dedicated to a specific application, are we obligated? to go forward with that application or is it possible to, as we're talking, change the... We would have to do a new application to CPC right. for a new issuance of funds. We can't just use that money as... Right, but right. what I'm saying is that what we're talking about now as far as research is concerned, that's really a new use of funds. Mm -hmm. So the only way to use But that it's money a new use of funds relative to, to the 100 year the list, list, which it was yeah. really okay. still about So maybe list. you okay. could maybe it could be positioned as a deeper dive into the 100 year list and that's yeah. how that's how it was yeah. originally right. it was a deeper dive into into areas of clusters i think it's it's more a deeper dive into refining the refining the age of, of some of these homes right. because it's not as it's not necessarily as cut and dry as we perhaps right. thought it was right. uh, just from dealing with the the day to day um, issues that have come up before so it's, us it's easier then to go for that money and spread it into this new look at the old application as opposed to yeah, completely like, different. Right. Because I was right. I was thinking about West well, Tarwich, but you know if we did the cluster, I mean I wonder if you well, that would, that would, kind that of would count. Yeah, it would because you could focus. I mean West Harwich should yeah. have some of the buildings in the hundred year list, right? Well, Already? Right. Except they should be, yeah. Or if you aren't. Right. right. And I mean well why couldn't we then you know, have that as part of it. Well, I think we'd have to include that. Right. I mean, we wouldn't have to, but whoever's doing the research is certainly, I would think, going to look you wouldn't at do the You wouldn't do the research and not look at those captains' at houses. Right. That's right. What you're and then that about. would yeah. support what they're doing, which right. I think but is, I mean. Let me just bring a little moment in here. Because oh, yes, that, where is that? The original, <laughs> the original um, CPC request mm -hmm. that came from the West Howard um, Historic District was sponsored by us, led by, well, in, in this case it was Sally Urbano who was the project manager, but that was sponsored by the Historic Commission, right. that request for right. funds to create the application right. to, um, to go forward with the National right. Register. For it, Captain's Row. For Captain's yeah. Row. Right. Um, and it was turned down right. because of a condition of language. And so what I was thinking is, because that was an original historic district-sponsored application, um, what are the thoughts in going forward with a new look at that? Because I know funds have been, in, not, not in this town, but in other CPC areas, they have used funds for, I, and I want to say like a clerical kind of thing, because it was kind of a, how is that connected to any preservation or how is that connected to any blah, blah, blah. 
you know, there's a lot of semantics. Right. So both. that's what a CPC application exactly. is. And, and, and having so, sat through it last year, you, that's, you know that's that. exactly what, but, what's but going to happen. But it was a combination. Yeah. It was not just the wording. I'll just finish up in okay. two seconds. Um, not just the wording, but I really sensed that um, they didn't feel as though there was a lot of support from the us. It was like a private citizen jumping up in front of them looking for historic money. Well, I'm going to so, I'm going to just one follow up. That's all I have to say. One follow up. <laughs> Please just give me half a second. I'm going to actually say that I don't think there was a lot of support because that application should have been done by this board, should have been approved by this board, not just not just at a meeting that we said Oh yeah, let's go forward, and we have no idea how much it's going to cost us, and, we and that's wrong. what happened. We were wrong. To do so that. We just let it go. So, if we're going to do that, we have to do it the right way, right. and we have to actually sponsor the the application exactly. and put it together. My concern is doing that from today before October first. Well, I don't that, know that may that's not happen. happen. Right. But I yeah. think it. Yeah. Yes, please. Now the issue, though, is when you look at the guidelines. Mm -hmm. They do carve out that money can't be used for setting up historic districts. Right. And Harwich at least has adopted that. Mm -hmm. And I know we hear stories of other cities that have allowed that. But it could, as you say, it could be in the wording the way they do it. Mm -hmm. So setting up a historic district, I don't think it's going to fly no matter how much work we put into it. Mm -hmm. But I think we're fine to say that we want to research the houses to get background. And that's perfectly mm -hmm. appropriate as part of that cluster. It, it's, it's, I think that would it's certainly it. refining the refining yeah, the information right. that that's right. available for us on the mm -hmm. on homes that are 100 years and older right. within the town of Harwich, right. and those certainly are fall within that category and fall within that scope. Um, you know, not having been purviewed to the original application that that was for the clusters. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I'm more than happy to go before CPC and actually. Um, step on the other side of the table and say, listen, it's still relative to the 100 year list. Right. It's still, it, it's a it's a variation on what we, had, what was originally proposed. Mm -hmm. However, it's a practical standpoint that we're, we're wasting, frankly, wasting our time and applicants time coming before us to say, you know, I have a garage that was built in 1950, but it's on the parcel. Right. And I do think we need to continue with the position that if if the parcel itself is on is on the list everything has to come before us regardless because otherwise you're going to have a demolition that you don't know about and you're never going to and you're not going to be able to recover it so i think the position we've taken and the way we've tried to address that issue by letting them come forward letting them show us the evidence so that we can vote and say um you know yeah we agree with you it's clearly like the laundromat yeah, on that. Doan Road clearly was not 100 years old. It was clearly built in the 60s. It was a typo. We agree with you. We'll take. We'll we'll ask to take it off the list. Um, you know, somebody's garage, same thing. But you can have a new house and an old barn. Mm -hmm. So you know, just because it's an outbuilding doesn't necessarily mean that it isn't the reason that it's on the right. on the list that's in the first right. place. That's but I think what you've set up is a consistent process. I think and, we have and been we've consistent also with it. made it not onerous for the people who come with that kind of a situation. We're trying to do the best that we can, I think, to be respectful of the homeowners so that they can proceed if, you know, if they need to come before us and follow the the notice, mm -hmm. fine. And if we and if we can agree that it's not, then s some people have been able to shorten that process, which um, I like. I mean, we're not people think of historic commissions as like you don't right. want to go before them, and, and I think we've tried to be the other way, um, which um, well, I, I think like. This was a great example. I think it was a great example. So and they listened, and, and absolutely, and absolutely. Um, so if it is the consensus of of the five of us, um, I will talk to um, I'll talk to staff, Charlene, and others um, about what what it would take for us to put together a proposal to kind of tweak the, um, to, to get a contractor to actually do that work. And um, we'll make the report to, to um, CPC that clearly we haven't spent that second round of funds as of yet, but. 
Can we get a copy of the original application for the uh, second grant? I don't remember. I, mean, I will. Saw, I will try and dig one out. It's, it's got to be somewhere. Okay. It does have to be somewhere. We have um, much research had been done to pull out the accounts mm -hmm. and to figure out to figure out that information. I do have that um, someplace. Carol Coppola was uh, was kind and, and did do some of that research. Um, or a lot of that research to dig those um, those amounts out. I will go through and see if I can um, go through the CPC applications from a few years. We've got we do have them. They must have that on their list if they call for one. I want to say it was it's between fourteen and sixteen. I think I don't think it was seventeen. Yeah. So um, because. I believe David Spitz was involved at the time yeah. of the yeah. second round. Yeah. I think Miranda was finishing up the first round, and I think I think an application mm -hmm. had gone in. Um, I will I will see if somebody can look through the um, the files that are um, that are stored and see if we can dig those out. Yeah. But it was it was more than I would think it was more than three years ago. Oh, I'm sure. Yes. Yeah. So. And the old ones went back to like 2004, 2005. So, um, so yes, I will do um, look up second round application. I will do that. Um, any other questions, comments about CPC stuff? Um, Julie, any questions about our lovely meeting tonight? Not yet. Okay. Um, <laughs> I have one thing to mention. Yes. I did talk to the guy that's the publisher of that map. Oh, oh you did? I did, but he was no help. Oh. <laughs> he couldn't do anything, he said. But there is a company that makes those maps, so that's my next step. I'll see okay. what we can get. And there may be a way that we can take the existing street map of, of um, Harwich and then, you know, just sort of wipe out all the advertising that's there and do an overlay. So he didn't do that map? Well, he ha I think he gets the advertising. I think that's oh, what so his Oh, so he thing collects is. the advertising yeah. and then someone else publishes right, it. Right, right. So you have to go to that other person. Yeah. So I think it was like a Philadelphia. I'm trying to remember okay. exactly what he said. But I have I have the information, so I will follow up on that. So Julie, just to let you know, what um, last year about this time, Jean had gone to a um, historic preservation Massachusetts event, I I believe um, mm -hmm. somewhere on Cape. Even. It was in Falmouth. Um, not Falmouth. It was in uh, Barnstable. Mm -hmm. And one of the examples that of something that a historic uh, commission had done was a map that was you know like a walking map, but it also had. Well, it had what was there currently. It also had in sepia tones historic buildings that had been taken down oh. and that were gone so that you could kind of get a sense of what it used to look like versus what it looks like now. Mm -hmm. um, so there were some advertising maps around town, and Jean so greatly volunteered to, to look into uh, what <laughs> it would take to, to kind of convert one of those Passive into something. Tense was volunteered. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's but you know what? I'll volunteer. dig out the one that was from Falmouth, too, because okay. I bet there's a way that those could be produced locally. I mean, I can't imagine it's that huge a deal. I don't know what it would cost, but they did it in Falmouth, and it didn't cost the town anything. They did get people that said they would distribute them to pay the upfront cost. Right. So if you can dig out that old one, or mm -hmm. even just call mm -hmm. Falmouth. Mm -hmm. um, well, they weren't responsive, so I'm oh, glad I actually have a hard copy but um then we can do that and put that on an agenda when you when you have sure. something let me know and I um i can schedule it on an agenda um anything else that anybody has reports boards commissions cpc was the main thing i wanted to to discuss so um i will do my end and and put it on the agenda again in september so that we'll know what's what's going on um Anybody want to entertain a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Moved by Mr. Jones. Seconded by <laughs> Gil Carroll. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Not in opposition. Motion carries. Get out of town. Yeah. Sit in some air conditioning. <laughs> yeah.
I have to turn off the recording.